from slide nerd this is weaves so if you guys ever play games you have seen fps gamers how they play you can go to youtube type cod noobs and you will be amazed at what results come up right same way if you have to add first 10 numbers you can go to netbeans type system.out.println 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to 10 and you won't even need this vid but that's not why i've made this vid right so i'm going to teach you a trick it's going to be about loops so you say something like this, the output is just this, there is no input in this, good, we don't need a buffer reader and all that blah blah stuff. So sum of first 10 numbers, now remember, you add 10 numbers, you are doing something repetitive, right? You are saying 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, it's repetitive, isn't it? So in such situations, you always lo use a loop. A loop is something which does things again and again, right? So if you take this bag, it's initially empty, let's see how this works. You have a coin, right? You put the co you say the bag is zero in programming because the bag is empty initially. You put the coin inside, your bag becomes one, right? And your bag is bag plus one now. Because remember, in programming, initially I said your bag is empty or your bag has nothing. Then I put one inside, so your bag had one. So now your bag has nothing plus one, right? That's exactly how things work in programming. If you can think that way, you can make awesome programs. Trust me. And then you have two coins. You put first coin inside, you put the second one inside, so your bag is added by 2, right? So in short, whatever there was in the bag is now added by 2. So it becomes bag is bag plus 2, this, this total becomes 3, right? Same way, you can go ahead, put 3 coins in, and you'll put bag plus 3, you'll add bag plus 3. The bag already adds something, so it becomes bag equals to bag plus 3, that something is added, right? So the bag becomes 6 at this point. Same way you have back plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, it goes on right, up to 10. So at this point you can see the statistics over here, 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 55. Now there is something you must pay attention to, it is these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These numbers can be automated by saying bag is back plus i. This is exactly a loop where your i starts at 1 it stops at 10 and it increases by 1 at each instant let's take a look back start at 1 it increases by 1 2 it increases by 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 ultimately it stops at 10 right it doesn't go beyond this so you simply say 4 and you say bag is back plus i to calculate the sum of the first 10 numbers so now that we have seen this let's go to netbeans and get this baby up and running so in NetBeans, I'm not going to need any inputs from the user. Good riddance. You can get rid of this IO statements, this buffer reader thing, and also the throws exception stuff. Plain old basic, right? There's no need for print LN. We'll simply say you have a bag, right? You say bag is zero initially. Now you need to keep adding stuff, right? So you have your int i, where your one number starts from one. It stops when it's 10 and it increases by 1 each time, right? So each time your bag has nothing initially, it gets added by i, right? 1, 2, 3, whatever. So at this point, you can simply print your bag out. Say Ctrl S, Shift F6. As you can see, 55 is coming out. It's a pretty simple program. I hope you guys understood what was going on. If you like what you saw, Please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know what you think about this. I would love to hear from you guys. Have a nice day. I'll catch you guys later.